Naya Crossbarker and her husband, Philip D. Cross, hear about new cases of COVID-19 every day. You hear about it and you don't think it'll touch home. Cross Barker of Agency Iowa said her husband, who's an employee of JBS Pork in Ottumwa, is now fighting for his life after testing positive for the virus on Saturday. And he may not make it. He may not make it. He may not come home. How many lives is it going to take? Cross has worked at a Tumwas packing plant long before it was owned by JBS Pork. He's known for being loyal to his job. And up until Tuesday, April 28th, he was going to work. Cross Barker said her husband woke up with the chills that day, but no fever. Went to work. They took his temperature on Tuesday, and uh, he told me he had chills, but they, you know, stay on the job, go to work. And then they took his temperature later in the day, and then they took his temperature again, according to what he said. So three times on Tuesday. The following morning, his temperature was up to 103 degrees. His hands were blue and purple. His body was jerking, and he just vomited profusely, and he couldn't stop shaking. Cross's doctors tested him for COVID-19 on Saturday, April 29th. And they didn't get the results back until that Saturday. By then, they could have come in contact with, you know, one person and infected 10 people and infected 20 people. Cross's condition worsened. He was airlifted to a hospital in Des Moines Wednesday. Hours later, Cross Barker learned she is also positive for COVID-19. The family says more can be done to protect workers on the front lines. I feel like all of these mitigation policies and protocols that these factories have are based on testing temperatures and Phil didn't run a temperature at first. Family friend Ashley Hotelling said the facility needs more on-site testing. I feel like these companies, if they actively test, literally when people walk through the gates, maybe they can contain it. Cross Barker suggests suspending operations until the threat subsides. If they had shut it down, if they had caught it when they first had it, contained it, yes, it's going to hurt for a minute or two, but shut it down and, and just sterilize everything, even if it takes two to three weeks, and do more than scan somebody's head. In an email exchanged with KTVO Monday, Cameron Bruett, head of corporate affairs at JBS, detailed a long list of precautions implemented at a Tumwas facility to ensure employees are safe. Measures include frequent temperature checks, increased disinfection efforts, and staggered shifts to limit room capacity. After speaking with Cross Barker Wednesday, I reached out to JBS a second time to find out if the company has considered enhancing its mitigation efforts to prevent further exposure. Bruett did not immediately respond to my request for comment on Wednesday. In Atumwa, Beth Walden, KTVO News.